After controversial comments earlier this year by its then CEO, the Phantom Gourmet is set to return with new leadership and a cultural overhaul. WBZ's Anna Rinas Rodriguez spoke to the show's host and new CEO, Dan Andelman. The Phantom Gourmet is returning to TV this weekend after a two month hiatus. The long running show came under criticism after CEO Dave Andelman posted comments mocking Black Lives Matter protesters. Dave has since resigned from the company. His brother Dan will take over and try to turn over a new leaf. We're going to look at this as the ultimate teaching moment, and we've listened and we've learned, and I think. Once we can put our actions to positively affect the community, I think we can really do some good. Those actions include a complete overhaul of the company's culture. We are looking um, to an extended, uh, at least year-long uh, engagement um, to do executive coaching at the highest levels of the organization, um, working with the actual staff, uh, looking at hiring. Dan Andelman has enlisted community activists like Tito Jackson, who will help Phantom use its platform to elevate minority-owned businesses. The real objective is uh, working with people who are going to hold uh, hold them to the grindstone when it comes to doing the right thing um, over the course of time and actually changing the show um, so the show is a reflection of the folks that are in the community. And confront racial injustice by becoming an ally and meeting the moment. This pandemic has been absolutely devastating to the restaurant business, but it's been disproportionately devastating to minority-owned restaurants in the city of Boston. So I think by keeping our focus on finding these restaurants, meeting these people, and telling their stories, we can really make a positive impact. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.